so hello friends again welcome to all of you so this tutorials i am going to cover the c++ in open form okay so some of the important uh, c++ topics like functions class inheritance polymorphism these things we i am going to cover because whatever topic i am going to cover in the future lectures these things is very necessary if you want to understand those things so i think uh, you have watched already my video past videos uh, i have uploaded some videos on c++ so those videos you should uh, watch earlier then you start with working with the functions class inheritance and all multiple let's start with the functions first so what is the function that uh, if you want to perform a specific task, then we create a function in the C++. What is the syntax? Syntax is the simple. That this is the type, and then we give the name of the functions, and then we have some parameters. The parameter can be a number, and then we put uh, some specific task to do this function in the form of a statement. Okay. So here you can see that uh, type is that uh, what. Type of value you want to return using this function. It is just a type, and the name you can specify anything, and parameters that what things are you are going to give. That is the parameters, and the statement is the body of functions. So these things uh, I am covering in C++ folder. So now let's open the terminal. So here I will type of six and four new. And let's put one folder that is a function one. So here you can be, see that one folder with the name of the function one has been created. Now if I open this folder, since we are going to learn just a function, I am going to delete these things, and these things is no longer necessary. Now suppose I am, I want to create. A function with the name of the white. Okay, so white means you don't want to return anything. Say that null return. Okay, so it will not return. Then you can call it as a white. Okay, so I can write that white. And suppose I want to create a function name as the area. Use whatever variable you are using in the C++. That variables also you can use. But here some of the different variables in open form defined as the label, long label, scalar. So these things you can also use here. So here I am uh, specifying the label. Label suppose x, comma label y. So these are the parameters that we are passing. Now, after specifying the parameters, we have to give a task to do it. Okay. So I can write as the label area. So I am taking a variable another that is the area. Now I will create area equal to x multiply into y, and I can info here the area. Uh, is this is a simple example to show that how function works okay so this is the function we have created where we are passing two parameters with the type of the label and uh, we are calculating the area and then we are printing the area here you can see that we are not returning any Value here. Okay, so, uh, this is a null return function, so it is not returning anything. We can define two variable a equal to 6.0, b equal to 3.2, and now we can call this function. We can say that area rect. We want to calculate the area of the rectangular. So we can say that area rect. Now we we are going to pass two variable that is the a comma b. 
and it is going to show the area rectangles whatever values we have given here now let me run this we will go to functions control now i will run wmac sorry this is label okay so always remember that if you are uh, declaring a number of variables then then should be comma not this semicolon these are the some syntax error that you should also see while writing your code now if i run the solver here you can see here that it is showing the area as 18 okay so 6 into 3.2 is equal to 18 that since we are using the label that why it is showing the 18 the decimal parts it is ignoring here now if you want to print the decimal part also so we can create here another function that is the scalar this we can also write scalar but then again we have to create or let me create another variables this is a1 and it is b1 and let me write it as a okay let me write the same values so that way we can see that what is the difference difference between the result so we can call it as a1 and b so I am just taking the same functions but we are changing the type of the variables, type of the parameters we are passing in the functions and here just should be also a scalar. Okay, then we are going to call these two functions and let's see that uh, what are the changes between the result of these two functions. Make. so it has been compiled now you can see here that the difference here so here in label it is ignoring the decimal part we have given as a parameter however in a scalar this is taking these two values okay also you can see here that we are given the Two name okay so the same function has been this is the same function that is the area rect we have declared in two, two different forms here we are giving the parameters as a label here we are giving the parameters as a scalar but the function is the same okay so when we declare a function in different form with the different parameters that is called as the function overleading so this is called as the function overloading now this is these two functions are the return type of the void course so here i want that the function return the value of an scalar okay. so here we don't need to print here something here we can just write as a return variable. We can just write at some another values. So let's see five and let's see it's seven point three. Okay. Now if I want to use this function, I can write as a similar way. the area is now i can call this function now there is a catch okay it is going to show a error let's see
see it is showing the ambiguity error okay because the functions we are defining we are passing the parameters of the same kind so here we are also passing the scalar x scalar y scalar x and scalar y so this things it is showing that it is the ambiguity error mark means that the compiler is confused that which function you want to use here okay so there are since these two parameters are scalar x and scalar y here also scalar x and scalar y now if you are passing in the parameter of a scalar same scalar x and y x and y so that's why compiler is confused that which scalar x and which scalar y you are using here okay either you want to this or either you want to this that's why it is confused okay so in such case let me just turn off this functions so these things you have to keep in mind if you are trying to do function overloading then the parameters which we are passing this should be different here you can even take the one scalar and one level then it will also work but if the parameters type is same then it is going to show the error let's see now how how it is going to work okay so now function has been compiled now if i type function one so you can see here that it is printing the value here now it is taking the well means this functions and it is printing the value which we are now suppose all these functions you want to uh, give a one single functions you want to avoid and you want to write a simple functions in such case you can use the template concept so what is the template concept we can write here as template and i can see that i want to use the class t okay so here t means anything it can be scalar it can be vector it can be anything so i can write here, is the that return i want is also type of t and the argument we are passing that is also type of t so this two can also be t okay so now here all these functions whatever we have defined level we have defined scalar we have defined again scalar whatever the type of variable you are going to use that same function can be used okay so here again let me copy this so here i am also i am writing for the level okay so this is the level variable okay so any type of variable you can use here okay so diff different kind of variables can be used just by using this template concept okay there is no need to create more number of functions for different class of the variables this is going to work for any kind of variables so another variable that is kind of float let's uh, see how it works 21.4 by 3 equal to 54.0 so this things we have written again i am just uh, copy this and paste it here now here i can pass it as a3 with now if i go into compile it so this has been compiled and we can run the functions so here you can see here that the same function is working and it is taking whatever the kind of variable you are using here so if you are using the level it is using the t class t equal to the class level similarly for scalar and similarly for the float so i think the concept of function has been understood by you thank you to all of you for watching this video